Good morning, today is Friday, March 24th, 2023. I'm Zach. And I'm Rai. Here are your morning announcements. March 24th, today is National Chocolate Covered Raisin Day. This ain't history in 1945, with the debut of the Billboard magazine pop album chart, uh, American pianist and singer Nat King Cole's King Cole Trio became the first record album to appear at number one. FFA Mission and Edge Conference is taking place today. There's a show choir practice from Sunday from 2 to 4. Now for your weather. Today's is weather. It will be probably sunny with a high of 45 and a low of 30. Tomorrow it will be a weather alert with a winter mix and a with a crying of 40 and a low of 25. Next is the spur report. I am Mr. Richard, and here is your sports report. The varsity softball team defeated a tough Jefferson team last night by a score of 5-1. to one. McKenna Young pitched a complete game. That's seven innings, 16 uh, strikeouts, no walks on 85 pitches. Guys, that is 67 strikes. That's impressive. Sophia Lightson, Ali Dahl, Tatum Hosley, Tatum Seslock, and McKenna Young all had hits. Tatum's, uh, Tatum Seslock's hit drove in two runs, and McKenna Young's hit was a double. They again play tonight versus McFarland at home, so come support them. The baseball team is scheduled to play their first game against Edgerton on Thursday, uh, March 30th. The track's first meet is the same day, March 30th, and that one is going to be an indoor meet at UW-Whitewater. Golf, your practice begins on Monday. I bet you're looking forward to that. All right, every Monday from 345 to 445, there is a cheerleading open gym in the auditoria. So if you are a cheerleader, you should go to that. All right, that was your sports report. Good luck, lady cards, tonight at your softball game. Today for lunch, we have cardinal bowls with chicken nuggets and pizza. All right, for your Tournament of Joking Champions results, yesterday we had a really close match. We had 165 people voting, uh, but we do have a victor between Mr. Ast and Mr. T. The winner of yesterday's joke off was Mr. Ast. You are moving on to the second round. Rye is super excited for you. Let's go. Good job, Dad. <laughs> All right, for today, we have a really good match. We have the three seed, Mr. Krupke, versus the six seed, Mrs. Hurt. You have all weekend to vote. The email uh, has your um, Google form in it. Make sure you vote. Enjoy your jokes. Mr. Krupke, mm -hmm. you are such a nice guy, and I would never call you old. I would never do that, but I was looking through some old Broadhead High School yearbooks and I found your senior picture. Here it is right oh, here. Nice. Really nice. You're pulling out all the stops here. Uh, but I did notice that the year you graduated, 1988, that was the year I was born. But I would never call you old. I would No, 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 no. no. <laughs> well, thank you for looking out for me. Um, you know, the other day I ran into your husband in the teacher's lounge. I'm a little concerned about him. He seemed really down. And I said, you know, Mr. Hurt, what's wrong? He said, well, you know, my wife's mad at me. She says I never buy her flowers. And he goes, I didn't even know she sold flowers. <laughs> Good one. Um, I know you're also a fisherman. Mm -hmm. And um, so I asked a couple girls on your softball team, if you were a fish, what kind of fish would you be? Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not going to tell you who because they said you might make them run. They'll get benched. But uh, they said you would be a big mouth bass. Oh, got it. 